Hi guys, so this video is going to be a bit of a different one for me because I haven't done a video like this in a while but oh my cat is just chilling there. This video is in collaboration with my YouTube friend Alex and she has a YouTube channel obviously otherwise it wouldn't be my YouTube friend Alex, would it? She does loads of cool videos on her channel, like how to edit your YouTube videos, how to like grow your YouTube channel. She's got a lot of different videos about like YouTube, as well as like life hacks and routines and stuff like that. So her channel is just really cool. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, then definitely head over to her channel after this video and check out her video and subscribe. Tell her that I sent you guys. So I will insert a little clip of her now. Hey guys, my name is Alex and over on my channel, I'm gonna be doing tips and life hacks for how to be a morning person and have a productive morning routine. So make sure to come on over to my channel and check out my video after you're done watching Sophie's. So life hacks, tips and tricks, like things to help you out, whatever you wanna call it, that's basically what this video is gonna be. So I hope you guys enjoy. Some of these hacks I got off Pinterest and other ones I just do myself and kind of came up with and I do like on a regular basis. Uh, so there's a bit of like a mixture of things. So some of you guys might have seen some of these before and some of you might not have done, but I basically decided to put them all into this video and share them with you guys. So the first life hack is when you're waking up in the morning and you have your alarm clock, well, I normally put an alarm on my phone, but I have it right next to my bed. So it's literally like right next to my pillow. I normally have my phone right next to me when I'm sleeping. And then when I wake up in the morning and my alarm goes off, I literally just lean over and press snooze, literally like five times. And I just basically sleep the whole time and don't get out of bed, which is really bad. And I'm always late for stuff. Literally like always, always late for stuff. Like my friends can tell you that. Sorry guys. So one thing that I found that does actually really help although it's really annoying, is to have a second alarm clock somewhere else in your room so that you have to physically get out of bed to go and turn it off. So my mum normally will do this for me if she's leaving for work in the morning and I have to get out of bed myself. So I literally have to drag myself out of bed, walk over to the alarm clock and turn it off. Otherwise, I will literally go insane. And this does actually help to wake you up because obviously like having to physically move yourself out of bed and go and turn it off, it kind of gets you out of bed. Another kind of tip or trick or hack or whatever you want to say that might help you out in the morning is I know a lot of the time when I go to bed, I always fall asleep when I'm on my phone. I'll be like watching a YouTube video and next thing I know I'm asleep. I wake up in the morning, my phone is on like 10% battery and I have to leave in like an hour. So... I kind of freak out, like, what am I gonna do? My phone is going to die. It's not gonna last the whole day. I have two kind of tricks to help this. The first one is use an iPad charger to charge your phone. And I know this might sound silly and you guys might not have an iPad charger, but you can buy iPad chargers separately. But iPad chargers actually charge your iPhone so much quicker than like a regular charger. And I discovered this accidentally because I have my iPad charger right next to my bed and then I keep my iPhone charger downstairs. Um, and I noticed that when I charge it on my iPad charger, it literally charges so much quicker. So that is one good thing to try. Another thing which also definitely helps to charge your phone quicker is turn the brightness all the way down and put it on airplane mode because then it will be using up like less energy and there will just be less going on with your phone and it will charge a lot quicker, trust me guys. The next tip you guys have probably heard of, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in a video before, if you are shaving your legs in the morning and you're in a rush, I definitely find that using conditioner instead of shaving foam actually works a lot quicker for me like I find that it's so much easier to shave my legs when I just smell them with conditioner I don't really know why but I don't know for me it just works better than shaving cream so what I do is I literally buy like a big bottle of conditioner for like one pound like a cheap supermarket own brand one and then I use that instead of shaving gel like not only is it cheaper but I also find that it shaves my legs a lot quicker and it also like moisturizes them at the same time so if you guys haven't tried that before, I definitely would recommend you try it. Another thing I like to do is a lot of the time I wake up in the morning and I'll forget stuff that I have to do like throughout the day or just generally if I want to remember something, I'll write it on like a piece of paper or like in my notepad or something and then I'll tear the page out and stick it to my mirror where I'm like getting ready in the morning. And then when I wake up in the morning and I'm doing my makeup or like my skincare in the mirror, then I have a list of everything I need to do right next to me and I can read it as I'm getting ready and this is also a good idea if you're like revising like say you have an exam that day or you're kind of preparing for an exam if you wake up every morning and read that kind of like list of stuff or like 
that kind of revision notes or something like that, then it will definitely help it go in a lot easier. The next one is if you're running late in the morning and you wear a shirt to school. I know that a lot of the times when I wore a shirt to school, I would wake up in the morning, get my shirt out of my wardrobe, and the collar wouldn't be like ironed. I don't know, like the collar just tends to get screwed up in the wash and like if my mum hadn't like ironed it or something then one good thing that I would always do is take my straighteners and iron my shirt collar and it really works. It's basically like ironing your shirt collar but it's so much quicker than like getting out the iron and having to like turn it on and just iron your collar. You can literally just use your straighteners, you literally just pick up your straighteners and iron the collar and then it will completely smooth it out if it's like crinkled and then you'll be looking a lot smarter for the rest of the day. Another good tip is that the night before you're going to school or you're going out or whatever, just basically the night before you have to wake up it's always a good idea to pick out the outfit that you want to wear because I normally waste so much time in the morning like trying on different things and just like throwing everything on the floor because I don't know what to wear so if you actually pick it out the night before then you can fold it up nicely put it in a pile somewhere in your room so that when you wake up in the morning you don't have the stress and like waste of time for like picking out your outfit and you can literally just wake up get out of bed and then you will have your like pile of clothes that you're going to wear for the day and it just makes things so much easier so if you remember to do that before you go to sleep it will definitely make your morning a lot less stressful and the same thing goes for makeup as well like if you aren't sure what makeup you're gonna wear I mean a lot of the time I just wear the same makeup on a daily basis but if you're the type of person that like you don't really know what lipstick you're gonna wear if you're gonna wear eyeliner like you might have makeup like all around your room or like in different drawers basically open all your drawers pick out the makeup that you want to wear for the next day just lay it all out nicely so that everything is really easy to find and you're not like frantically searching for your eyeliner in the morning and that might also make your morning a bit easier so the final kind of life hack that I like to do is a lot of the time when I'm eating my breakfast I like to kind of like watch YouTube videos and I like to have my phone in front of me like in front of my bowl of cereal on the table or something but one thing that works as a really good stand is actually taking a pair of sunglasses putting them out on the table in front of you and then you can literally just put your phone into the, like the sunglass stand and it will stand up your phone and you don't have to sit there and hold it or like try and prop it up against something because that always seems to fail. So that is all of the kind of productive morning routine life hacks that I have for you guys. I hope some of these have been helpful. If they were, then please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please remember to go and check out Alex's video because she is amazing and you guys should totally go and subscribe to her. And also, if you guys aren't subscribed to me, then obviously I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!